again, one of these times I, I really do hope to look intelligent when I start one of these meetings. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh, and I, you know, 10 steps. And maybe one of these times I'll remember all the steps. Um, with all the delays, I'm trying to watch and I'm trying to look intelligent. And I'm trying to see when it goes live and I miss it every time. Oh, well. And I just keep closing my screen. Just a moment, people. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it is Tracy here, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher, <clears throat> who did not bring a cup of tea in the room with her. Is more than likely going to regret it very shortly. <clears throat> Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. Um, I'm, I have this on my desk just to invite comments. I am actually going to use it. There's a purpose for it. But I'm curious if anybody knows why I have it on my desk. I will give you a hint. It's plastic. Rubber. Man-made something. There you go. Before I actually use it, and then you see why I use it. See if you can guess why I have it here. Hello, Tamara. So glad to see you again. Um, let's see. Where was I going to start? <laughs> um, kits. Let's start with kits. I have a few little updates and then, then we play for a minute. Um, so kits. The Christmas whimsy one, which I could have swore I brought with me to my desk and I did not. Not anywhere I can see it. So the cute Christmas card kit with the elves in it decorating the tree and such has sold out. And that was the, I guess that was the assumption that would happen when it first launched. Um, it took three weeks, which is longer than I thought. I, I really did expect it would go faster than that because kits are just so easy. They're so easy to put together. They're so easy to get out to people. Now we're expecting a second kit out of this offering. Um, it's hinted at in the mini catalog and it is from the looks of it, card tags, although these card tags from the one video I did see with our, the CEO does little Tuesday, yes, Tuesday afternoon videos. She was putting together one of the samples of this kit because I guess when you're the CEO, you can get stuff early. Um, and it, it appeared that like when she was holding the tag in her hand, it was like a good, oops, there we go. It was a good size tag. So I would imagine that these tags, um, which there appears to be four different um, styles of it looks like you could make them into cards quite easily but they do make adorable looking tags now this kit is supposed to launch i believe early october because the other one is sold out i think that just ups the chances that this one's going to sell out and maybe even faster so i mentioned it before i will keep an eye out for it we did get a note stepping up's very good at communicating certain things so we did get a note saying that we should get a day's notice when it's going to launch so hopefully I, I get that and i can tell you ahead of time but if you really, really want to make this kit, let me know ahead of time so that as soon as I know it's going to launch, um, I can get the stuff together, get a message, get everything out, make sure I tag the right people who have mentioned it. Um, I assume it's going to be a $26 kit like the other ones have, then plus shipping and tax. I don't know that for sure. Um, it looks like this is a stamp set that goes with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, if you're thinking of that, and I probably will have just because... Last time when we had a card kit, I think it was, I think it was four different, or a tag kit, sorry. I think it was four different tags and I think there was either three or four of each. So if you don't need 12, 16 of these like nice big tags, maybe you make half tags, half cards. So I will have an option for an add-on of um, some card stock once I get a look at the kit and actually know what colors and sizes and stuff where you could actually convert some or all of this kit into cards. Um, but yeah, to get the kit, order it straight to your house, put it together and have these awesome, almost card-like tags to go with it. Why not? So yes, I will I will communicate when it comes out, but if you know for sure, for sure you have to have it, let me know ahead of time so I can make sure that I, and if I just happen to be putting an order in when I know it's coming up, I'll just order it. So then we don't have to worry about messing up. FOMO, you don't want FOMO. Um, speaking of missing out, <laughs> This kit, the paper from can kit, the deadline is the 10th, my sister's birthday. Um, so if anybody is interested in that, make sure you do that before the 10th. If you think, wow, that's an awesome kit. I don't really have time to craft, but boy, I wish I could buy that kit and give it to someone deserving. Have I got the opportunity for you? They will be coming back, we just don't know. Oh, sorry, see, I'm having a really hard time looking at the 
I get in my zone and I don't look at the comments. I did read, so I did read the comments today. We did get information about these kits and I think they're changing how the kits are working um, in 2022. And I think some of the kits will come back and I'm not hundred percent sure. So when I clear, when I, when I get it straight in my head, I will tell you guys. And if those card kits do come back, the cute ones with the elves, I will for sure let you know. Okay, so have I got an opportunity for you? That's where I left off. I gotta really stop with the squirrels. Um, this paper pumpkin kit that is coming out for October has the makings of, as we remember from the last time, my cheat sheets, 10 Christmas cards, five each of two different designs. And they coordinate with, for anybody who watched, I have this on my desk because I just love it. Um, for anybody who watched my Make It Monday, this is the card that I made, my little layered cabin card. Um, based on the idea from Terry Gaines. And th this is the suite that it coordinates with. Now the, the kit has this deep green and a red in it. So it's obviously not gonna look exactly like this, but elements uh, somehow. But anyways, I love this suite. So I think it's gonna be a beautiful card kit. So it will make 10. And these card kits are designed to be um, put together pretty quickly. Hour, hour and a half, you need scissors. Everything else is in the kit. There you go. So they cost 31.50. And I did mention this, I think I might have mentioned it on Monday, if not, I did mention it last week, but um, we are trying to get, my friend Tamara, who's with us tonight, um, came up with this great idea of recognizing nurses and hospital staff. Um, seriously, those, those are an under underappreciated bunch who are working above and beyond right now and have been for a year and a half. So to give them, we can't solve all the world's problems, we can't solve all the you know, mess politicians make and such, but we can let nurses and hospital staff and other healthcare workers know that they are appreciated and that we see them and that even to give them an hour or so of, here's a little creative outlet, kick back, a few of them sit down in the coffee room, make some cards and then have 10 Christmas cards that you can hand out and let your loved ones know you're doing okay. Like, it's just a little something to, to let them know. So we're trying to get a hundred of these kits to donate to nurses. Um, I know I have a niece who's a nurse, I have friends who are nurses, there's ladies in our staffing group who are nurses, and there's a whole thousands of nurses and healthcare workers out there who are, who are really, 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 really deserving of a little bit of a nice gesture. So anybody who wants can send me the $30, I rounded that one off, to sponsor a kit. I will pay the difference in shipping and I will buy the block that goes with it using my commission on the kit. So no profits being made on this. All the money's going back into the kits, trying to get the goal of 100 kits. Tamara and her awesome much people are about a third of the way there. So I would like her to help. I would like you, you fine people, to help me help her. <laughs> Darn, I wish I could do a Tom Cruise right now. No, maybe that wasn't Tom Cruise. Maybe that was a cute Yuba Gooding Jr. Help me help you? No, that was Tom Cruise. Um, I would like to help Tamara get to that 100 goal. And I would like to be part of the genius idea of giving nurses a little something to tell them thank you. So if you wanna be part of that, let me know. Um, I will put my email address in the, in the post after this again, just so you know. And yeah, we're just gonna buy these kits, add blocks to them. We have a nurse that will distribute them for us so they go to the right people and just say thank you. They, they totally deserve it. Uh, let's see what else is on my thing. Oops, I forgot my got my props. Um, my prop game is off tonight. Normally I have better organized than this. Celebration. Celebration uh, is over on Thursday. When is Thursday? Tomorrow. So you have till 11.59 tomorrow to take advantage of the free. So celebration, just to recap, for every $60 you spend, you get to pick um, free products. There's some stamp sets in here. There's some dies in here. There's a couple dies where if you spend or sets, if you spend $120, you get these are amazing dies. Darn, see, this is what I get for cleaning up. Up until a few days ago, my desk was just piled high with stuff, but I'm trying to sort out and organize. So I made these flowers are just gorgeous. I don't even have the stamp set that goes with them all on their own. These flowers are gorgeous. And I made this great thing with them, which was an arm reach away and is now across the room. So that's what I get for putting things away. But anyways, for 120 bucks, look at this cool stuff you can get. Um, there's also the join offer. So if you buy the starter kit, which is a good deal on any day, you basically get $165 worth of the product you pick 
you get a free paper pumpkin in there, which as I just said, is worth $31.50. Um, and you get some catalogs and stuff, which even if you don't wanna be a demonstrator and do the business, and even if you just wanna have a party amongst friends, you can pass your catalogs out to your friends and, and have like little just get togethers where you all craft and you just you know, supply the stuff. So you get hundreds of dollars worth of stuff for a $135 flat rate. There's no GST, there's no shipping, it's just $135. During stamp or celebration, you also get, so again, till tomorrow night, the, a choice of 12 different bundles. Now these bundles are for anywhere from, I think 61 to $85. And by bundle, I mean, and you don't get one with a missing stamp, but just, this is not one of the samples. This just happens to be something with an arm's reach. But so basically by bundle, I mean, you get a stamp set and the set of dies that go with it. And I have this out because I'm using the stamp, it is not missing. Um, so this gets comes free. So now you're looking at what? $300 worth of stuff for $135 flat rate. So even if you don't want to do the business, even if you just want to get a good deal on a, some supplies, and then once you do get this, meet your minimums and you get at least 20% off on the rest of your supplies. So awesome deal. This particular one goes until 11.59 tomorrow. So celebration. I want to sing the cool and the gang song every time. Celebrate good time. Anyway, I'm going to stop singing now. What else is on my list? I actually made a list today because I was all over the place today and I've sort of made a list. Oh, uh, why was I all over the place? Because I have rescheduled and just scheduled and changed and rescheduled things so many times in the last couple of months. And I was trying to come up with a plan that would work to not have to. And really the only thing I came up with is we are virtual until December. I'm gonna quit trying to do in-person ones because I just have to keep changing things. I think it will take at least until December. I know nothing. I have no like special in or anything with the doctors or the nurses or politicians, if there is such a thing as knowing what they're about to do. So I have no idea, but my instinct tells me it's at least December before they lift restrictions or at least into late November, which means in order to plan something. So I'm hoping by the time we get to our treat um, get together that we usually have where we make treats to give to everybody for Christmas, that we can do that in person because that would be a whole lot easier. But I'm not sure that anything else will happen in person. So I am once again, shifting and this time I'm doing it and then I'm done. Um, I shifted for like a craft sale because they changed that date. Now I'm not even sure if it's going to happen. So this is it. I'm shifting and then we're done. Um, and then I will just start setting out the information and saying, here's what's available. Here's the date we're doing it. Here's virtual. And I really, really hope that I can make something work for someone because really I just want to make cards with you guys. And I want you to be able to have cards to give to people because I love the look of people's face when they get one. I love the look on your face when you make one and you know you're giving it to someone. So that's the ultimate goal. I am going to get there and uh, the pandemic is not going to win. So that's where I was today. Now we're going to play. Anybody figure out what my, my fancy rock mat was for? <laughs> no. Okay, so what I really bought it for, well, here, here's the, here's the original use. You buy these mats to put in your kitchen sink so when you're washing your fine china, you don't chip and dent or break it. Now, anybody who knows me knows that is never going to be the reason I have this mat. Not ever. And you're right. It is never going to be the reason I have this mat. I actually bought it when, <laughs> oh, hello, Kim. I actually bought this mat when my son was a baby to put in the kitchen sink so he wouldn't slip around when I was giving him a bath. <laughs> Right? It's like the big no slip mats that you put in the shower. Only this one was designed for a kitchen sink. And so I thought it would work. And I love the fact that it looks like pebbles. And it did work. It, it kept them from sliding all over the place in the bathtub or in the, not the bathtub, in the sink that I was using as a bathtub. But basically, it's anti slip. That's what I have it for. So I have it to use for my big shot, which is not a big shot, my stamping cut machine. So I'll put it, try to put it in frame. So this big machine will slide around on my desk and it will scratch my beautiful desk that Corey made me. And I don't like that. Um, and it's easier to, to when you're getting like your cranking stuff through if it's not moving on you. So this is what I have it for. And now I put this on there. So look at that. This thing is over 13 years old and has found a new life in my craft room. Because not only would he not like it, but there is no way that my now taller than me child will fit in the kitchen sink. So why do I have this out? 
Good question, Tracy. Why you the notes? Um, thank you. Oh, look at this. Karen, oh look, hello Karen. And Tamara's calling me brilliant. Oh, the day's just getting all better. <laughs> so the reason I had this out is because I was getting ready to use this folder, which is musical notes. And it's a gorgeous folder. Stampin' Up! has such awesome folders. And this little bit of texture adds so much to a card. And then I remember, you, uh, I think it was Tamara actually, was using this goods for bums and die cutting. There you go. Um, so Tamara was using this and somebody pointed out to her about the orientation. And by that, I mean up or down, not the other orientation that's in the news. So, but I'm, boom, I'm here all week. Um, so then I thought I should point out, there's like a few things you should know about embossing folders. And in this one in particular, because it will frustrate you if you don't know. Now, <laughs> again, for those of you who know me, you know what a great singer and musician I am. Um, but I do actually know a little bit about reading music, thanks to a friend I had in high school who was a singer, and I used to look at her sheet music because, you know, bored, I had to learn something. So I actually know that the treble clef, which I'm trying to make it so you can see, is currently upside down, right? You see that right there? So on this folder, there is actually a right way up and a wrong way up. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, and I think Tamara, maybe if you remember, I also think somebody who can read music figured out that this song was Joy to the World. I, I, and I, maybe I should have double checked that before I started, but I have a feeling this is Joy to the World. But anyway, so it got me thinking about these embossing folders, which I'm having a hard time keeping in frame because, anyways. Um, so here's, here's a couple things you should know. With embossing folders, oh, look at this. And you get to see circus performance while I balance. Um, an embossing folder is meant to emboss. It will also deboss. <laughs> Not like I'm deboss, but you know, deboss. So I have no idea why I'm in this like mood tonight, but here I am and lucky you guys. So here we go, show and tell. Time. So this is the embossing folder. And honestly, I didn't emboss far enough to get the treble class. So now I have no idea which way is up or down. I'd have to match it up. But see, this is an embossed piece of paper. So to take a plain piece of paper, eh, you know, nice. Wow, and make it wow, you emboss it. So embossing, and I gotta get the right angle, here we go, gives you the texture. So it lifts all this paper up, right? So in order to get embossed up, you need the Stampin' Label, the Stampin' Up label here, this little one, to be up when you put it, right? That's the side of the paper. Now, in a lot of cases, if I put this paper in this way, or if I show you this side of me, it's debossed. So in this case, instead of the, the texture going up, the texture is going down. Now, that's kind of cool. Some, some embossing folders look just as good either way, whether they are embossed or debossed. It depends what you're going for. But there are some circumstances where putting it in the wrong way is not a good idea. For example, this piece of paper, Eh, let's go with that. Pretend that's the right way up. So this piece of paper is now a debossed piece of just white. But what it's supposed to be, ooh, is silver. So in this case, I did put it in the right way because I've learned my lesson by putting it in the wrong way enough time. So if I want this silver side to be the embossed side where I have the texture going up, and I put it, in, if I put the paper in this way, it's not going to come out that way, right? Because the, the side that is Facing up with the label is the part that's gonna pop up. So for paper that is one-sided, it really does matter which way you put it in. Some papers, so this is this shimmery gold vellum that we have, and oh my goodness, does it ever look good? You can't see the shimmer on, oh yeah, there you can, look at that. Um, you can't really get the full effect of the backside, but this paper is gorgeous and it looks so good embossed. The backside of the paper is not as shimmery and not as gold, it is, it's almost like it's got um, like a, a layer of patina, like the chalk white paint you put on stuff. But it turns out that when you emboss it, even the back looks good, but it is definitely more white than the shimmery gold front. So yes, it does matter which way you're going. Um, if you do happen to do it by mistake, it's just an opportunity to be creative and figure out a way to use that side. No big deal. Uh, there are embossing folders like this one. This is a subtle texture embossing folder, which honestly, 
Oh, joy to the world. There you go. Uh, which honestly, everybody should have this folder because it is just amazing to add, as it's called, a subtle texture. So in this case, here's one side and here's the other side. And there's not a whole lot of difference. That's just the nature of this text, this folder. So in this case, you probably, you know, you can't really lose. Um, it is just, it's gorgeous. So just to add a little bit, so you just don't have a shiny flat surface. You have just that little bit of texture. It's awesome. And then I got this out and then I realized afterwards they don't match. Some of our embossing folders, they're starting now, are thinner than the other ones. These I think are three inches where these are five and a half or six, six. Well, yeah, they don't look like six. These are, these, they're coming out with some of the smaller ones to go through the mini die cap machine. Okay, let's see how much Tracy can stack on her desk and not cause an avalanche. So the little mini die cap machine, right? So these are designed to fit in there. These can also be used through the bigger machine. The trick to them is they cut it, there's a, a, a narrower strip of paper, right? You're not gonna cut a full card front necessarily with these, but you certainly can put the smaller one in the bigger machine with a little bit left out and have like a smooth spot that you can stamp on or something. So there's, there's different kinds. Um, this one came in a two pack with the, with the pine boughs, and, or I guess those are spruce boughs. And uh, I grabbed the wrong one to go with the paper. So let's just pretend that this is spruce boughs. Uh, the, the, the message is the same. Some of the embossing folders, it matters that you put them in straight, some it doesn't. So in this case, it is a you know mishmash of branches and it really, there's no really right or wrong. That would be the same way with these leaves, which that did not help at all. Just a minute. I said leaves, these are snowflakes. So with these snowflakes, same idea. If your paper's a little crooked in there, it's probably not gonna matter that much, right? Cause it's just a flurry of snowflakes. But in some cases, and I don't know if you can see this cause it's maybe the, it's not as clear, but I got this and I did it. It just moved at me on the last minute. And this is just like slightly crooked. And this would drive me bonkers. I would, by the time I finished the card, I would have replaced this piece and redone it because it is just slightly crooked. And actually, if you look at the note, oh, I can't believe I got it right the first time. If you look at the notes here, see how close it is to the edge and see how they kind of get farther away. And I realize they're not exactly on the same place on the thing, but but they are closer to the edge than there. But that's that's how far crooked I was. So it really does matter. So you want to get them your paper straight in there. Look at what Stampin' Up did. They put a little line on the front of the embossing folder. So really all you have to do is line the bottom of your paper up on the line and now it's straight and you don't have the same problem I do of your off kilter music. And I tend to put them in and pinch and then until the machine grabs it, I, I pinch it and I hold it tight, which is what I didn't do the last time and that went crooked so that it wouldn't get away from me. The other thing I am not sure if people know you can do I'm going to try to do this really quickly because I didn't do it ahead of time. Oops. Is you can stamp. I've decided I'm going to try to stamp something live every time I go live now, as opposed to just talking about things. So I'm going to do this. So I've decided that I'm going to make this in the screen. I'm going to make this card and I'm going to put this stamp on it. I'm going to try not to put my head in the middle of everything, but probably I'm going to anyways. Uh, funny aside, this stamp set here for Christmas that says it's the most wonderful time of year. Teachers get a real kick out of it when you make their June end of year gift using this same stamp set. <laughs> I did that a couple of years and the teachers loved it because for a teacher to get to June, God bless them. I bet you they're so excited about June. Okay, so, oh, there we go. Sorry, for, for a moment there I was stalling because I couldn't figure out what I did with my embossing folder. Okay, so I have now stamped on this piece of cardstock. So yes, in this case, it really does matter which way I put it in this folder, because if, if I want a debossed, so I want this to be flat and like grooves, I have to make sure I put it in this way, because if not, my writing's gonna be on the wrong side. In this case, I do want it to go and be embossed. Now I can do one of two things. I can line it up, I'm at a really bad angle, between the bifocals and the light and the angle. Best of luck to me. There we go. Let's pretend that's straight. Okay, so I can do like this and I can just put the embossing folder in and only go this far. 
But just to show you an example, you can emboss over the stamping. And depending on how fine the lines are on the stamp you stamp and how detailed the pattern is on the embossing folder you use, you'll have various results. But most of the time, it works really well. Just don't have a really deep, busy pattern with a really, really fine stamp set, and you should be just fine. Because it does, it does take a little bit of it away. But if you'll notice, I now have this whole thing, and it is still very readable. It is, it looks much nicer in person. And even so, from a distance, you can read it quite well. And then when you get closer, you'll notice that the embossing, embossing goes right behind it. So in case you didn't know that, you can emboss right over top. Now again, if you wanted debossed, so the kind of smoother indented look, um, now your stamp's on the wrong side. Ta-da! Embossing folders 101 for you. Um, I do plan to actually make a little series of videos about different things. Um, I In April, it will be 10 years that I've been a demonstrator. And my all-time favorite, I say it all the time, favorite part of being a demonstrator is the community of stampers that you get. Some of them are demonstrators, some of them are just crafters, some of them are just people who appreciate um, paper crafting. <laughs> I love all that I have learned and all of the people that I have met in this. And I have learned a lot just by watching other people through different training, sharing, sorry, very loud noise like that. Um, and so I thought, you know, I should really start putting some of that down. Well, I still remember it. Um, putting some of that stuff down. And I figured, why not? If I'm going to do this whole video thing, thank you, Tupperware, and the handy dandy dispenser. That's your local Tupperware rep. I say that not even having a Tupperware rep, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to start making them into little videos, into like little short snippets so that people can, can um, start learning little bits and pieces about it. One of the reasons I want to do that is one of the options I'm going to come up with for going forward is the rent a box of supplies. Um, so I'll put a big shot, put some dye stuff, put some things in it, rent it out. You pay for all the consumables and a, you know, a rent the box fee and you take it for a week, you make your cards, you give it back. So the more you guys can know, and I, and, and I am available to answer questions and stuff, but the more you can know about the cowl, the different pieces work, the more fun it will be for when you're crafting. Because I don't want you to get home and try to do some crafting and then get really frustrated because you can't make things work the way you want to. Because yes, that's that's the beauty of doing it in person is we can all talk, we all help each other, we all have ideas. When somebody holds it up and says, blue or red, everybody's got an opinion. Um, can't quite do that virtually, but I'm gonna try to simulate that as close as possible. So I'm gonna do some. So uh, if you are interested in that, my YouTube channel is called Paper Pusher TV. <laughs> Uh, as I was making up all my social media handles, I will tell you that I was amused and I just kept amusing myself the more I went. I'm gonna put this down because it looks pretty on the rocks. Um, I couldn't get paper pusher as a handle and I couldn't get the paper pusher as a handle, but I could get the, so I went with that. So I thought people would be able to remember it because I'm not just a paper pusher, I'm the paper pusher. So I thought, oh my gosh, that's just so funny. Because as I have mentioned before, I amuse me quite a bit. Um, but for some reason, when I went to do my YouTube channel, I had it in my head that it had to be a different name. So my YouTube channel is called Paper Pusher TV. <laughs> I've never I've never had the aspirations to be on TV, but look at that, I'm on TV now. Paper Pusher TV. So if you want to go find that channel and subscribe, you just search Paper Pusher TV and it'll come up. Uh, and subscribe and put in notifications. You will find out that at least twice a week I'm posting a video. And then I'm going to start doing more. And as soon as I figure out titles, which I still have not figured out, uh, you will get to see my fun first attempt at a tip video where I sing the soundtrack in the back. Yes, folks, you heard it right. I, well, I don't really sing. I sort of more hum. But nonetheless, I do the soundtrack. So there's something to look forward to. Okay, so there we go. I've rambled long enough now. Um, tips on the big show or on the embossing machine and embossing folders and embossing papers. And I recommend everybody needs some of this gold sparkly vellum. I wish they had the silver stuff too. Um, if you have any questions on any of those things, by all means, let me know. And then just stay tuned because I will be putting out 
uh, cards and um, some home decor, I believe. I'm going to get a venture into the picture world. I think I can make kits for those and do a few of those other things. And that information should all be out within about a week or two with all the new revised dates of how we're going to make this work. So until then, everybody be safe. Everybody have fun and happy stamping. Thanks for joining me.